Hi, this is question 6 from the AQA Core 1 January 2012 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to see if you can try the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go at the question. For the next part of the video, I'm going to give you a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. We're told that we've got a rectangular garden and it's got a width of x meters and a length of x plus 4 meters. For part A, we're told that the perimeter of the garden needs to be greater than 30 meters and we need to show this inequality here. We need to show that 2x is greater than 11. So um, just to get us started, is it useful for us to understand what's going on? So I'm going to draw a quick diagram for us. And um, we've got a width of x meters so that's our garden and um, we've got a length of x plus 4 meters now it's bothering me a little bit that our garden is yellow so I'm going to um, change the color of the garden and um, there we go it's a nicer green okay so um, we want to show that the perimeter of the garden um, sorry we're told that the perimeter of the garden needs to be greater than 30 meters and we need to show that 2x is greater than 11. So I guess what I need is an expression um, for the perimeter of our garden um, before I can show this inequality. Part B um, tells us that the area of the garden needs to be less than 96 square meters. And I need to show this inequality. So again, this time I need an expression for the area of my garden before I can show this inequality. Mm -hmm. Part C asks us to solve the inequality x squared plus 4x take away 96 is less than 0. So um, it might be worth drawing a quick sketch of the graph um, marking down um, any intersections um, in the x-axis um, and then using that to solve this inequality. Part D um, we want to determine the possible values of the width of the garden. So you need to finally say, using all of the information that we've gathered from this question so far, um, write down an, an, an inequality that um, tells us what possible values for the garden we can have. Okay, so if you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can have a go at answering um, the four questions. Okay, I'm now going to go through the answer um, to the question. So for part A, we um, need, well, the perimeter of the garden needs to be greater than 30 meters. So an expression for the perimeter of the garden will be, well, that's 2x plus 4. Um, and then I've got them again over here. So altogether, I'm going to have 4x plus 8. So that tells me an expression for the perimeter, the distance all the way around. If you're unsure, if I mark the x and the x plus 4 here, you can see where I got that from. Um, and we're told that that needs to be greater than 30 meters. So I know that that expression needs to be bigger than 30. I can simplify this now because I can subtract 8 from both sides. That tells me that 4x needs to be greater than 22. And I can divide both sides by 2, which tells me 2x has got to be greater than 11. Part B, the area of the garden needs to be less than 96 square metres. So the area, an expression for the area, will be the width times by the length. And that needs to be less than 96 square meters less than 96 and if i expand this now i've got x squared plus 4x is less than 96 which means x squared plus 4x take away 96 is less than zero okay part c 
I'm just going to move over here. Solve the inequality x squared plus 4x take away 96 is less than 0. Now what I said we want to do here is we want to draw a quick sketch of the graph. Now um, in order to do that I want to know where it's going to intercept the x-axis. So I'm going to factorise this first of all. So if I factorise that I'm going to get, well, I want two numbers whose product is going to be negative 96 and whose sum is going to be 4. So the two numbers are going to be, well I know 8 12 is a 96 and that's got a difference of 4 so mm -hmm. I think plus 12 and subtract 8. Okay so if I draw a quick set of axes over here And I know we're going to cross the axes um, at 8. And negative 12. Okay, so that's 8 there. And that's negative 12. Okay, so, um, and I'm going to have a parabola that's going to be this way around. And what we're looking for is we're looking for the values of um, when this is less than zero. So we're looking for all the y coordinates that are below the x axis because that's where they're less than zero. So the region of our curve that's less than zero is this region here. So I can say. Um, well x has got to be greater than negative 12 and less than 8. Okay, it's because I wanted this part of the curve. And there you go. Okay, part D says hence determine the possible values of the width of the garden. Well, I know because of the restrictions of the area, um, I need to be between negative 12 and 8. However, I've also um, found earlier that 2x has got to be greater than 11, which means that x would have to be greater than 5.5. So what I can do now is um, I can draw... A line here at uh, about 5.5 and I know that x has got to be bigger than 5.5 so it's got to be on this side of 5.5 so I can't have I can't actually have any of these values here so I can't have anything between negative 12 and 5.5 so I'm going to rewrite this inequality as x has got to be between 5.5 and 8. And there you go, so there's our final answer. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Um, take care and um, I hope to see you again soon.